What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care. And just waiting on Blake to come pick me up so we can go head to the airport. Today we're going to catch a flight to Dallas to hang out with everybody over at Makita. Uh, tomorrow, a bunch of different stuff are going on, but I'm bringing the camera. I got all the stuff. Gonna be doing some vlogging for the next two days, no big deal. So, some of the footage is gonna be mixed. Obviously, you're gonna have the phone and the camera, but we'll catch you in the next situation. <clears throat> Here at the airport, uh, waiting on Blake. He disappeared. I think he had to go potty, but don't tell anybody. So, we're just chilling, waiting on the flight. Uh, shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. Got through security like an animal because you're not bringing illegal stuff, you know what I'm saying? The people that have issues are people taking long trips. But if you're just gone for a couple days, what do you got to take? Ain't nothing you got to take. So yeah, we're gonna get that going. I'm ready to get down there, maybe do a little sightseeing before we actually go to Makita and finish the tour and do all that stuff for those guys. So whenever that's done, we'll be having fun. I think we have a dinner with them tonight and then tomorrow is a lot of product testing and a ceremony for opening their new location. That's about it, man. So. Let's go walk around or something. If you ask me, you should feel good. Anybody that's gonna spend ten dollars on a banana, a water, and, and a small can of Pringles? American Airlines. You're Airline killing it. Is that you, Dong we'll Song? To the that was me and Dong Song. We have an issue with your stuff right now. I think I'll try to find the one that's down here because it's less crowded down that way. In case you guys didn't know, that's how you drink water. They confused me at the whole register. There. I honestly don't like the way you drank it, so I'm walking away. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Not from here. Not from here, huh? Nope, never been to no Dallas. All right, well, let's see. We're gonna start the trip and see where we're going. Some pizza place. Some pizza place some in pizza. Dallas. Okay. Head north. Thanks for the ride, we appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Let's go get some food. What's inside? Inside. inside. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Uh, either one. Whatever, whatever you want to give us. We're in your world right now. Right here. All right. All right. We're doing okay today. Absolutely. May I ask what we're we feeling? Is this like YouTube a magic? Vlog. Oh, okay. Like, yep. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Might have a more extensive beer list in the black book yeah, right. along with my uh, black book. Alright, All right. All right, thanks, man. 
So just showed up here at Grimaldi's in Dallas, Texas. Man, it's gonna be a new one for me. As you guys know, I'm a giant pizza fanatic. Blake, he's the first thing that you wanted. On he's kind of. I was like, hey, dude, what pizza place are we going to? So we're down here in downtown Texas. We're going to. Uh, we're not going to. We're here at Grimaldi's. So we're gonna see what this place is about. The ambiance in the place is cool, man. I like it. We were looking for something a little, not necessarily upscale, but some differentness, something, man. Something kind of classy. Nothing like Blake. He just let me get a cheese pizza from Pizza Hut. I'm like, yeah. dude, let's go do something. Else, <laughs> Well guys, I'll definitely tell you we liked it, obviously, because I had one slice. That's all I had was that one slice you said. Blake definitely took every other slice off. I'm kind of perturbed about it, but this stuff is fantastic, man. This place was really good. If you're ever in Dallas, Texas, make sure you check it out. So we're getting ready to leave Grimaldi's. I got this dude right here. He's saying what's up to the vlog. Hurry up and grab your stuff, dude. We gotta go. Come on, dog. We're in a rush right now. I don't have time for this. I gotta get out of here. I gotta blow this pop. That was windy. And they are hiring if anybody's down here. I don't know, man. I kind of like downtown Dallas because compared to Kansas City, there's nobody out here, is which is different for me. Thing? So where are we going? We're just gonna go walk around for a little bit. Walk around and then uh, I'm definitely not going to hold this camera and vlog it the entire time, but I will say that Grimaldi's Pizza was killer, dude. dude I told you great. before. And everybody there was super nice and awesome. Everybody super positive. I mean, they were like talking to us for like an hour, like the whole, the whole meal, just sitting there talking with us. Because so I'll be really honest, cool. uh, the hostess came and talked to us for a while. I was going to give her a vlog on the way out, but she left work before. And there's a good chance that me and Blake may have changed somebody's life. Literally, she she was scared to death do to start YouTube doing what she wanted to do. To like a bunch of people, which I get in the comments. I'm I'm saying that because I get them in the comments. We just did that in real life. Right. A year ago, I would have never done that, and I would have never had the the motivation and, and power to do that because I wasn't outgoing enough. But man, we just lit a fire. She's like, I just we did. go home and start an Instagram. Page She's for writing my all this stuff. You know. So and I told I, her my exact story because she was interested in what I was doing vlog. Yeah. I'm like, let me tell you something. You're scared just to get on Instagram. Sunglass hut. You think they got some cheap sunglasses in here? Not cheap sunglasses, but we can look because I want a microfiber thing. Okay, I got to somewhat restart that because we had to go in the sunglasses hut. But what I was saying is I was telling her my story and about how I decided to take a different route from what I was doing. And Blake was telling her his story. And there's a good chance that she's going to pursue what she wants to do. She's an artist. She wants to get on Instagram, show her stuff. Uh, I don't know if that she was really necessarily as scared to do it, but just had thoughts of why would I do this? And we're just like, just do it. Show show off what you're capable of. Meet a bunch of people in the area that also do what you're doing and get excited about it. So I hope she does it. I hope she gets at me that's what when Andy she gets did. big. Andy did that to I me. I did the exact same thing. You know? I was like, dude, I don't know if I should do it. Blake's like, do it. I'm like, well, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. It's just, this is lawn care. It's like, who cares about this? Blake's like, just do it. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to do it, whatever. And look at me now, I'm still nobody, so I'm not teaching good life lessons. So, back guys, just got out of the CVS and I found my favorite pair of sunglasses. These Panama Jacks, I've had a pair for like a year, cheapos, like 18 bucks. A rock hit me, the only time I wear safety glasses, is trimming, right? Rock hit me, scratched up the lens, so they've been sitting in my truck. Found another pair. I love these sunglasses. I don't know why, but I do. So we're set up and we're ready to go for some place. Some guy in CVS was like, "Dude, you guys gotta go check this yeah, out. It's I real trendy." I was working, and he's like, "Some other guy came out. He's like, you need to go here." So that's where we're going. We're taking an Uber there. Yeah, it's Uber Three number two, away. man. Uber number two. We're gonna take at least like at least four Ubers. As many as we can. Here. I'm just gonna dump. Awesome. I'm gonna empty out the bank account just on Uber. Man. So we're in CVS, right? Guy recommends us to go check a place out, and this is the place we show up to that he says we need to go to. Got <laughs> kind of this cool little old, I don't even know, maybe London car. Grange Hall Retail and Restaurant, so. Let's go, we, man. Is this the front right here? I don't know. 
Now, I've been set up a couple times in my life, and we just got set up. Dude. That was a waste of a $5 Uber right that, there. $6 Uber. Now, give me your camera real quick. I don't know why anyone would recommend us to Listen, go. we asked the guy in CVS, hey, you got any recommendation? He didn't have anything. Like, what's some stuff that we got to see? So, we were, of course, we were walking out. It's like something out of a movie. We were smart about it. We were hesitant. But this guy's like, dude, you have to go here. It's like an old dungeon. It's super cool, super fun. The building on the outside is very weird. You have to go around. It, it, it's like a rich store. It, like, it, it doesn't even have a storefront. It's so, it's like an expensive store and everybody in there is just looking at us. Super trendy. And, and it, it's like the, 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 the weird clothing where like, people have jackets on, but they don't put their arms through the sleeves. See, I'm gonna say this. Okay. That's the girl in there. That Look was at the way Blake's dressed right now. Yeah. The dude at CVS, and don't take this me being homophobic, Yeah. was completely into Blake and thought yes. he was gonna meet someone here for yes. sure, because this is not a cut and clean lawn dude. care place, guys. Dude, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> We're waiting on the third Uber. We're getting a Toyota Camry about eight minutes away, so we're gonna be here for a while. We went in there, and I was 100% sure Blake was about to lose his virginity. I mean, I'm not even lying. It was getting ready to happen. Lawn care, lawn care down. Hashtag friend zone ended. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't, I don't want, I want to be far away from the store. Let's walk this way. <laughs> Let's walk. Let's walk this way. I did find my glasses. That's all I care about. I'm not even lying. These are 18 bucks. These are my favorite sunglasses. Oh, maybe this. I think they look good on my face. They look good on my face? I don't think they look good. See, you are gay. That's why the guy sent us here. He is so gay. <laughs> So yeah guys, just pretty much unpacking everything, getting this air conditioner set to 60 because I like it nice and cold when I go to sleep. But here in a little bit, I gotta go down to the lobby. Uh, we gotta go meet with these guys. We'll see if it's film worthy or not. I think we're just doing a dinner, kind of a meet and greet thing. So probably will. So I'll catch you back here in a minute. Really? Oh, it was yeah. nice by us. Yeah, no, was. dude, it sucked. And I got here and it was 90 and I'm like, uh, it's like the angels were singing. <laughs> I just parked a skid loader. So heading out, ready to go eat dinner, getting loaded up in the cars right now. No big deal. Got the guys from Tools, Tools in Action. So What's up, know, you guys? Nobody knows what they no, actually Tools do. Tools Nation sucks, dude. Nobody knows who we are. They're like Stan, the Stan genetics of the internet. Yeah. Nobody knows what they Nobody do and what they are. are. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's not. I feel a little claustrophobic myself. Me too, dude. Me too. It sucks <laughs> back here, dude. I, don't, I'm, I'm I think cool. I might go we should, like... We should have had him back here. He would totally... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I could have been fine back there, but I would have been like... <laughs> laying down laying sideways down with sideways. feet out the window. So we're just showing up to where we're getting ready to eat at. I still don't know where we're going to eat at, but we've showed up at least. That's a good sign, right? 450 bucks Crazy. I think it's, that thing you just squeal. That's, that's, that's my truck. Just take it off. I know that's what he says. You yeah. got a Raptor. Yeah. But dude, isn't it fucking? It's meant for the sand, places? right? It's really not that. It's not really? that bad. Yeah. I don't even notice it really. It's oh, you have a Raptor? Yeah. Wow. It's meant for the sand, right? Which yeah. the aluminum one? A new one? No, it's thirteen. 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 Nice. Shit, dude. <laughs> I thought you had a one. I'm like, dude, this oh, is cool, man. man. You suck. <laughs> we might be going to the La Vinta. I heard you guys. La Vinta? Talk some shit about me. What? And, uh, it's going to be delicious. Oh, yeah. No, dude. I mean, it smells it's so good. Dude, the building is I just heard, awesome. I heard your voice. Yeah, yeah, the buildings are killer. I love them. The architecture, if you would call it around here, I think is fantastic. I don't know if that's a word or not. Dude, everybody looks at you when you hold the camera like that. Okay. What's up, you guys? No, I don't. I'm just loves it.
We're going to be coming by tomorrow, uh, looking through his booth, guys. He's going to have a lot of the uh, Makita battery-operated equipment for the outdoor stuff that we have going on. Uh, he did a presentation. I caught most of it, but we'll get more into that tomorrow. But right now, we're just getting ready to eat, have a good time, talk. Everybody at the table just kind of hanging out. Photo <laughs> in the background. So, yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. So, get ready for... It's going to be another episode, obviously. This is too many, too many videos, too much footage to put in one video but uh, I might do a little bit more throughout the night but tomorrow we're gonna hit it hard test out a lot of the stuff that they have to uh, you know offer you guys out there in the community so get ready for that video it's gonna be coming tomorrow for sure so we'll check it out <laughs> so guys we just finished with dinner just finished eating a little wine and dine action if you would call it but it's time to get back to the hotel man it's time for me to get some sleep Tomorrow we're meeting in the lobby around 8 o'clock in the morning. Heading out to their new building. Uh, we're going to have the ribbon cutting ceremony. And have a lot of OPE and gas powered equipment to test out. So we'll get ready for that tomorrow. This has been more of an adventure vlog more than anything. So I appreciate you guys for watching. If you are watching, following me on my journeys. Uh, like I said, super excited and honored to have uh, an invite to even come out here because it's a very limited group so far. Maybe like five people from social media that I'm knowing so far. So yeah, big opportunity for me and I definitely appreciate it. I'm very humbled by it that someone would even, you know, bother to contact me to go to something like this. So that's cool. And like I said, tomorrow we got all that going on. So I'll see you guys in the next video, probably. Most likely. I think I'm gonna split these up. So most likely the next video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.